Yo, it's August 23, I'm running out of time. I have to shuck in this thing before the 29th. Um, I got my new sensor installed here. Where's the old one going? Here. Yeah, this is the old sensor here. She's a bit brown looking. Um, yeah, let's um, see if it still does the overheating garbage. Plug that in. Goes in there nice. I don't know if we're going to do anything about that. Might just keep it there. I was trying to get my, my hands on a new plug though. A new plug would be nice. I asked Suzuki about it and um, they said that you can't just buy this plug. So I might have to take this plug in there later and um, see if they can match it up to something in their system or something from another car. Right, um, wideband is connected. Yep, ECU is a mess. Upside down and shit. Let's just, um, let's start it up and see how she goes. Oh, battery, have to connect the battery back up. About to blow up, ready? Yep. Oh, we're, um, we're ticking. The hazards are on. The hazards work. Uh, what are we in? Okay, I'm gonna start this thing. We're, we're in park, right? Yep. Nothing obstructing anything. Let's turn that off. What if we shouldn't um, just bleed this real quick? Try and get any air out of this. It's very easy to do. You just slide that back. Oh, spoke too soon. Very easy to do he says and then he's unable to do it give that a bit of a twist just to loosen it up I don't know what the hell's all over these yuck yeah. all right we're um the highest point so hopefully yep um, okay let's just do that let's start it up well, we want it to get hotter anyway, so if it's got no water in it, it'll get hotter even quicker, won't it? That was weird. Here we go. We have idle. Still don't have a muffler for this thing yet. Um, I'm checking the standard price from Suzuki, and if that's way too high, I'll get something off Yahoo Auction. Um, I'm not going to bother taking the one off the silver one, but taking the one off the silver van because I'm pretty sure that one's leaking anyway. Do you remember what this is called? Katri Senko. That really bothers me. I should probably open up that door so that um, we don't gas ourselves. Let me do that real quick. No, oh, wait, 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 wait. No, it's still doing it. It's still doing it. Look, it's doing it. New water temp sensor, not even hot yet, and um, it's it's already doing it. Look, so it's not because it's hot. It's got nothing to do with heat. Ah, oh, crap! What is it then? Why is it look lean? I don't know what's going on. I was really hoping that's what it was. Something to do with idle up? Is the ECU rooted? Maybe. This isn't good. This is not good at all. Um, what else could it be then? Weird. You hear that tick? What the hell's that? I don't know what's going on with this car. Now she's running fine. Um, there's a relay ticking on and off. What computer is in there? Power steering's awfully heavy. Is running nicely though um, for now will the fan come on that's the question find out next time on garage K we've got to get this thing hot I don't know what that ticking is anyway I was gonna open up this door wasn't I before I got um, distracted by the uh, engine leaning itself out okay we're almost warm um, well, I mean we're warm, but we're not warm to the point of um, 
thermo fan kicking in yet. Let's hope that happens. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna do this, do this real quick. Yep, yep, yep. What the hell? Why are my wipers going? <laughs> oh, that's insane. What's that ticking, he says? Um, that's your wipers on, mate. Turn your wipers off. Idiot. Okay, all right. Still no thermo fan. We are up to temp. I have bled the system. Um, any water loss, anything that happened in there should have put the air bubble here because when I pulled this out that would have let air in right um, after I let the air in the air would have gone to the top place and then gone up this tube here back to the radiator because it's the highest point um, one would guess unless there's an air bubble stuck here there could be should we do that how hot is it oh, it's still not even that hot um, so that's why the thermo fan's not coming on because it's not hot enough. What's oh, this? Shit, that that's hot. That might be hotter than this. Oh no, we're about they're about the same. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, come on, thermo fan, let's go. Ah, uh, why won't it turn on? Could it be the air temp sensor? Because there's only really three sensors. There's this water temp. There's air temp, um, and that's it. Like. Um, there's this thing, I mean it idles beautifully, it's idling beautifully now, like we're not getting the, pr the same problem we had before, maybe this ECU has a memory, um, and the, like all the other ones that I worked with don't have a memory, uh, I found that the every ECUs are a lot more, um, complex than the cappuccino ones are, they've got a lot more going on inside. But this just isn't, it isn't doing what it was doing before. It's still not getting hot. I don't know what's going on. Um, a new sensor, this, this sensor talks to that gauge and it also talks to the ECU. So, all right, I've got this thermometer sitting here. I just can't get this thing up to temp. So I just basically have to assume that everything's working fine. It hasn't done its stupid leaning out thing again, which I don't know why it's fixed, but it seems to be fixed. Um, so I'm just gonna check for engine codes real quick. Uh, and the way you do that is I've got the service manual print out here. Connect ground and DN together with a some sort of jumper. And uh, the uh, check engine light will flash if there's a problem. And this is what they'll be. Um, I've got this little thing, little wire here. I'm gonna try that take this cap off um, right which one is DN D's nuts so we're gonna poke this one into wait what do we got okay we're upside down so we need to go this way like that and it's gonna be uh, top right top right and middle Let's turn it off. All right, so I've got it connected up and it's flashing. One, one, two. One, and then two. Um, so that is a 12. 12 means the system is fine. Um, so there are no error codes available, which means the O2 sensor is uh, fine. The uh, uh, I mean, it's all it all should be fine. So if that's the case, then I'm worrying over nothing, and I should just move on. I guess that's what I'll do. Six and a half hours later. Finally found these things go in here so I can clip these in next you can't even see it's too dark Ugh. all right 
I'm getting stuff done, so I'm not filming as much. I just organized the bolts here, cleaning up a bit. This area has been painted. Um, I'm putting the, I've decided to put this back. Uh, the fuel uh, cap, fuel cover release is going back in the OEM location. And the reason for that is I'm gonna do something special up there. Um, something different. I want, I want to keep the OEM look in the center. This is uh, very functional here. It's very easy to get at. It's not really in the way or anything. So um, to modify it and put it here like it is in the silver one, I, I mean, I'm very capable of doing that, but um, no, I'm just going to leave it there, I think. I want to use the standard center console. So that's that. I'm going to leave this rusty for tonight. I might pull it out in the future sand it and paint it but not right now once everything's together and everything's like i can drive the actually drive the thing then i'll think about stuff like that um, i want the interior back together i want the seats in i can always pull this out um, again easily it's four bolts to get that out so not a huge deal i want it ready and then um once it's ready then i can mess around with stuff that doesn't really matter you know, like that does not matter at all. That's rusty, doesn't matter. But um, it bothers me, so I will eventually paint it. I'll probably just paint it primer gray, um, to be honest, but yeah, that'll get done eventually. This is where we're at. All right, guys, that is it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. I really hope you enjoyed it. More episodes coming every day. For as long as I can before I turn myself insane. I've already got like an injury in my arm from using the mouse too much. If I make if I make a fist, I get pain in here, and then I can't really extend my arm the whole way. So I've got I've got a weight here, and I'm doing some um, a little bit of training to try to fix that. Um, yeah. If you would like to show some support for Garage K and the things that I do, head on over to the Teespring store and pick yourself up a t-shirt or a hoodie. Or you can get your name on the Garage K door. Details on those two things are in the description as always. I will see you in the next episode. Later.